Hello and welcome to the CX Files podcast. I'm your host, Mark Hillary. In this edition of the podcast, I'm speaking with Simon Dillsworth from Praxidia. Simon is executive business partner at Praxidia, which is a management consulting firm spun out of CX company Teleperformance at the start of this year. Simon has a long track record in both management consulting and CX, and the Praxidia team will be speaking at the CX Tech Conference in London on October 12th. I'm also going to be speaking at the event, and my focus is how the CX specialists are charging for emerging technologies and automation. So I caught up with Simon to get his thoughts on this subject. When you're talking to um, prospective clients then, are they now asking for more technology solutions that that help to build out the CX strategy? I mean, you know, typical examples might be artificial intelligence, machine learning, data analytics, this kind of thing. Yes, we're we're seeing a definite increasing trend with customers seeking technology solutions to common business challenges. Typical drivers for these requests include a desire to reduce cost, increase revenue, or enhance efficiency within contact center operations. I think machine learning in particular has gained greater prominence as clients seek not only to automate their own contacts, but also have to have technology self-educate and adapt to changing contact parameters. It's clear that technology has a role to play in all of these scenarios, but the major challenge we see our clients facing in today's market is how to drive the optimal balance between human contact and automation. If you automate too much, you lose a relationship with the customer and your ability to add value to the relationship. Automate too little, and you face the challenge of remaining competitive in an increasingly competitive business environment. Okay, um, but when you're talking to a customer that's thinking about, um, you, you know, buying contact center services or just a wider CX strategy, are they thinking about these these capabilities just as table stakes? I mean, is this what they're expecting from a, a service provider today, or are they seeing this as something extra on top of you know the typical kind of contact center services? Sure. Increasingly, these capabilities are are expected as part of a transformational offer that drives and improves CX outcomes. The tradition to outcomes is an important shift as it typically manifests itself in the erosion of our typical per hour per FTE charging models, where the BPO partner is tasked with taking ownership for the delivery of specified CX enhancements. Conceptually, this isn't a bad thing, but these expectations do not always take into account the elements of CX improvement that lie within the purchasing organization and therefore as a result are less easy for a BPO partner to directly influence. Yeah, and that, that, that comes back to this um, this pricing model based on the, the full-time equivalent, the FTE. Um, quite often um, the, the organization itself that's buying services will be asking for an FTE price and so then how do you factor in all of these additional technologies and extra services when uh, you know, traditionally, th- this has been the price of a- an-, an agent, basically. I would say that there's no one-size-fits-all approach, um, as each contract is unique and has its own parameters. Uh, as a general rule, we see a blend of the traditional per-hour, per-hour pricing models, uh, sitting alongside per-transaction and or license fee models, which are typically associated with technology solutions. As the transition towards digital transformation continues to gather pace, and purchasing becomes more sophisticated, I'd expect there to be increasing pressure towards rolling up these individual pricing elements into a single service fee linked to the delivery of agreed CX outcomes. It's not an easy shift to make, given the multiple variables involved in any contact centre operation, as well as the need to identify clear accountability for all contracting parties. Okay, so that 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 essentially it, uh, we're talking about licensing fees for the technology, and then that's priced separately to the uh, to the agent themselves. Then, it typically, but again, it varies. It depends on the particular contract in question, but it's not easy always to blend the pricing models for technology versus people. Increasingly, I think there's more pressure on BPO partners to look at that and find creative ways of addressing it. But I would say we're still in the relatively early stages of of that evolution. And you'd see lots of examples in the market of those separate charge models sitting side by side within the contact center. Thanks for listening to the CX Files podcast. 
Please tell your friends and contacts about the podcast by sharing it using the hashtag #CXFiles. And if you can leave a comment and rating on iTunes, that would be fantastic. Thank you in advance. I'm always open to ideas and suggestions, so if you want topics explored or covered on the podcast, you can find me using at Mark Hillary on Twitter, that's Hillary with two L's, or just search LinkedIn for Mark Hillary and CX Files. Thank you and see you next time.